we're all massive coffee drinkers here. Oh, yeah. I don't think you could do this job if you didn't like coffee, to be honest. <laughs> I'm weird with coffee. I don't have it anywhere else. I have tea. I'm you a don't tea... have it on a weekend? No, I, I'm really? a tea drinker. Well, experts have revealed the exact time you should be having your morning coffee, and it's definitely not as soon as you wake up. Sleep expert from Get Laid Beds... Get laid? Get laid beds. I've got to go there. Sleep expert <laughs> from Get Laid Beds, Dr. Deborah Lee. Oh, Deborah Lee. Deborah Lee from Lay Lay Beds. Oh, from Get Laid Beds. Okay. Anyway. Do you know her? No, know? but I better go and meet Deb, right? <laughs> She's explained that the best time for a morning coffee is either 10 a.m. or, if you get up earlier than that, um, at least 45 minutes after you get up in the morning. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Mm. That'll, that'll be perfect. Perfect, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, what about you? I'm a good five minutes. <laughs> the reason why they say is because otherwise you become immune to coffee over the time and you don't get the actual benefit of the coffee caffeine hit right. if you don't drink coffee at the time that your cortisol's peaking. Oh, my uh-huh. God. You know uh-huh. the science? Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. it says by Dr. Get Laid Beds, Dr. Deborah Lee. Sounds said, legit. <laughs> said for you to be able to get the maximum amount of sleep that's good for your body is that then no coffee after three. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You can't have a coffee later in the day. Oh, you're half pissed by then, Jono. Yeah, absolutely. Jeez. <laughs> but that's not a very big window to drink coffee. Ten to three. Oh, that's it's a lot of hours. When did they put a shift on coffee drinking? <laughs>